All right, hi everyone. Welcome to our second week of Advent. All right, go ahead. The angels proclaimed peace on earth when the baby Jesus was born. We all need two kinds of peace in our lives. We need inner peace, but we also need peace with others. God addresses both. He tells us what to do to find that peace. Inner peace begins with a relationship with God, and it continues as we focus on his strength and allow him to fill us. We can exchange our weakness for his strength in any area of life. God's word says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is focused on you because he trusts in you. Isaiah 26, 3. Personalize that verse with your own name in it. God will keep me in perfect peace as my mind focuses on him and trusts him. Inner peace hinges on your trust in God. If inner peace is eluding you these days and anxiety is spilling over in your life, choose to trust God. You can choose to put your hand in his and draw from his patience and wisdom as you take each step. He will guide you through the maze of life if you ask him. Inner, inner peace is there for the choosing. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. Matthew 5, 9. Peace with others begins as we understand that God has called us to be peacemakers in our world. Is there somewhere in your own world where you can be a peacemaker this Christmas? Is there an invitation that needs to be extended to smooth over a fractured relationship? Is there an apology to be made or a silence to be broken that has stood as a barrier for too long? Don't miss the blessing God promises in your life as you respond to his call to be a peacemaker in your own circle. We can help bring peace to our world one heart at a time. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. And where there is sadness, joy. Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. All right, so last week was hope, and this week is peace. All right, thank you for uh, watching our video. Merry Christmas. You say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Yay.